Hello, 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 people. Welcome back to the channel. It is me, TaylorMade Gaming, and I have not moved a single solitary muscle since the last video. It's been about a couple of days for you guys, but it's only been about five minutes for me because I cannot wait to get into today's episode and into these games against Rotherham. Rotherham did finish third in the league we finished sixth and Rotherham were relegated from the championship last season so they are hoping for an immediate bounce back whereas we of course are trying to get up to the championship for the first time in quite a long time and so this is two massive games for us I'm so excited for this let's go and get straight into the first game this is the team for today game we've got Stevens in goal Kalina Bauer Omar Ajit Long are our back four they have been our back four for most of the season so we're not going to change them now and then in the midfield it's Iqbal and Smith joined by Brannigan Brannigan replaces Luke O'Neill who picked up a suspension with that yellow card in the last game of the season so I'm not sure if we're missing him for just this game or the following one but but Brannigan is a decent replacement, so I'm not too worried. But up front is the big news. Scott Banks comes back into the team. He has played well in both of his games against Rotherham. He scored in both of them against Rotherham this season. But he is playing, having taken a course of pain-killing injections. So... That's a little bit of a gamble, but I think we kind of needed to do it because Marcus Brown is also out for a few weeks. So, didn't really have much of a choice, I think. And then up front, it is, of course, Tyler Smith and the hero of the last day of the season, Harvey Nibs. It's them two up front as ever. And, well... I'm feeling confident. We're at home. We've just come off a very good performance against Portsmouth. Come on, let's go and get into the game. We're here in the dressing room. I'm going to say, if you carry your last performance into tonight's game, we'll do well. No reaction. That's not ideal. And now let's just get some kind of reaction into the lads. Come on. And yes, Nibs is motivated. Smith is motivated. Mostly everyone is is motivated in some form of or sense. And so, well, I'm losing sense of words. Come on, I'm going to go. I'm going to say 2 0 again. I'm feeling confident. Come on, you yellers. 15 minutes into the game, it's Rotherham with the first highlight. And they've hit the post and they've put the ball in the back of the net. Oh, no. It's an own goal as well from Patrick Bauer. Oh, I'm going to have to have another look at this on the replay to understand just exactly what happened. Here we go. It was Bramall with the free kick. And it was their man hitting the post. Kalina tried to clear it, I think. And it hit Bauer and went into the back of the net. That is a nightmare start. Oh, no. 25 minutes in now. And Rotherham again with the ball. We get it out of our box. Banks wins it back, thankfully. Now, Brannigan into Omar Adjic. Just get rid of the ball, son. He's cleared it, but it's only hit their man and gone to Stevens. And this is a very, very nervy start. And now Stevens clears the ball long for us. McCart heads it forward to Hayes. Goes wide to Kaukai. What a name that is. Is that, is that Kaukai? I'm going to go Kaukai. And now Bramall, he plays the ball forward. Omar Adjic heads it away. Goes back to Kaukai. And now is he going to cross this in? He is indeed. Omar Adjic heads it down. Goes to Long. And now, can we just get, get a foot on the ball, please? Apparently not. Even Nibs is giving it away. Closo. Forward to Coyote. Coyote's shot is hitting the post. And Bauer clears. And oh my gosh, this is not a good start. And Johansson to Bramall. To McCart. Kalkai. And now, are oh, Rotherham going to come forward? They are. And Stevens. Stevens. Oh, he's been caught in two minds. He's done himself there with Stevens. He's been brilliant all season. But... That was a big bit of indecision. And oh no. 
what is going on here with us? We have not turned up at all today. This has been a very, very disappointing first half. Yes, here we go. Banks coming forward with it. Smith's, Smith's in behind. S Smith gets us back into it with his 24th of the season. Yes, lads. We are not out of this yet. We are not out of this at all. Come on. That is half time. And well, that could have been a lot, lot worse. But thankfully, we are only one goal behind. It's 2-1 to the visitors. And also, thankfully, no more away goals these days. Very, very happy about that. And so, we have had seven shots to their five. Two on target to their three. But our XG has been better. And we've had more possession. Despite saying that, I'm going to say I want a much better display. See what that gets out of them. Everybody looks inspired and motivated. Banks, again, is having a good game against Rotherham. And so, come on, come on, second half. Just, just let us go to the second leg with a draw. I'll, I'll take that right now. 20 minutes left of the game. This is the first highlight of the second half. Scott Banks with a free kick. We're level. Scott Banks gets us level. It's 2-2. Two -two. I knew I was right to risk him. I knew I was right to make sure he took those injections. Yes! We are level. Sod what I said about only wanting, wanting a draw. I want to go win this now. Come on, boys. Immediately following that highlight, we've got the ball in the box again, but this time Nibs's header only goes wide. Nick Bell is looking tired, so he's coming off for Galbraith. And I really can't make my mind up whether to take Nibs off for Ebervine or not. I really don't know what to do. I think I... Oh, I don't know. I'm going to leave him on. I'm going to absolutely bottle it. I'm going to leave him on. Come on, Nibs. Come on, Nibs. Do something for me, please. Five minutes left of the game. I'm going to go three up top. We're going to take Banks off. He's had a phenomenal game, but I do just want the three strikers on the pitch just to see what we can do. And so let's go shoot on sight. Let's go. Let's go higher tempo, slightly more direct. And we're going to distribute this over the opposition defence and see what we can do for the last few minutes. Well, that last change was absolutely pointless because nothing happened of it. But what a game of football that was, eh? 2-0 down, back to 2-2. Two, two. It all goes on the second leg away at Rotherham. We had 18 shots to Rotherham's 12, 6 on target to their 3, a much better XG, much more possession. I'm confident for the second leg. I'm confident for the second leg. This is the team for today's game. Only the one change. Omar Adjic is out for Brown. Omar Adjic is looking a bit knackered. So I've dropped him completely for today's game. And also he's been called up provisionally for the Swiss national team for the upcoming Euros. So I don't want to risk him getting injured and potentially missing out on that opportunity for the lad. So yeah, he's out for today's game. But other than that, the team is as it was for the last one. We've got Stevens in goal, Kalina, Bauer, Brown, Long, Iqbal, Brannigan, Smith, Banks, Smith and Nibs. There's a few players looking tired, so I've ummed and ahed about this for a few minutes. But I think stick with the same team and we'll be OK. I think we've got enough off the bench to win it if needs be. Oh my God, I am so, so nervous. Our whole season comes down to this one game right now. We're here in the dressing room. I'm going to say, come on, everyone. We all know what's at stake. So let's make sure we win. Don't want to say that. Yeah. Oh, that might have been wrong. That might have been the wrong decision because there was no reaction. Oh no. I am getting this all wrong. As well, we've only got one, two, three, 
four players with any kind of reaction. Oh, what a time to get your team talk wrong, lads. Okay, I don't know what to predict for this. A dodgy 1-0 win for us. I would take that all day long. Come on, boys and girls. 53 seconds into the game, and we've got a highlight. Rotherham are heading the ball out of their own area, but we've got it back. Banks, Titic Bell, Smith's in. Smith's has shot, has been saved, and it's gone out for a corner ball. But that is a very nice start from the boys in yellow. Half an hour gone now. It's Rotherham with their first highlight. They've got a free kick, and Jordan Hugo. Jordan Hugo has given Rotherham the lead off the deflection from the wall. Oh, the ex-West Ham striker has come back to bite me right here, right now. Although calling him an ex-West Ham striker is a bit of a stretch. I don't think he ever actually played for us, did he? But he certainly played here and he's given Rotherham the lead. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. How are we losing this game? Look at those stats. Three shots to our eight. One on target to our three. We've got an XG of 0.49 to their 0.32. And we've dominated the possession. Tyler Smith is looking very, very tired. So I reckon I'm going to have to take him off, aren't I? It's a big decision, but it's going to have to be done. So let's get into the dressing room. Let's go. Let's go hands together because that normally works. And uh, what do I say? I want a much better display because I do. And that's got a better reaction out of everyone. But now let's take Smith off for Ebervine. And let's see, what is Ebervine's favourite role? Uh, he can play as a pressing forward or an advanced forward, a target forward. He's quite tall and even what I remember. Yeah, he's 6'4". Target forward, you are, my son. And so, target forward, we're going to have to go attacking. And also, Smith is also looking quite tired. So, do we bring Galbraith on for Smith? Yes, we do. Oh, come on. Come on, lads. 45 minutes to rescue this. 20 minutes left of the game. And there's been no highlights. And so, what do we change here? What do we change? I think we go longer passing. Slightly longer passing. Slightly higher tempo. Run at the defence. Be more expressive. Suit on sight. I'm changing pretty much everything because I am panicking. I am panicking. Oh, no. Uh, good, good run for Banks. Banks is having a good game again, though. I think Ramsey for Iqbal because Iqbal is looking tired. Maybe make Ebervine an advanced forward. See what that does. And Jay De Silva for Kalina. And you know what? It doesn't matter if we lose now. So I say we go like that. We go De Silva on attack. And have we got early crosses on? Yes, we do. What else? Is there anything else I can do? Kind of wish I was streaming this right now so I can get some advice off you guys on how to win this. Ah, oh, 20 minutes left. 20 minutes left. I think I'm all out of options other than this. This is You're probably screaming at the screen telling me I'm doing this wrong. But, oh, well, come on. Come on, boys and girls. Come on, 20 minutes. Just a goal to take it to extra time, please. Oh, First highlight of the second half. It is Rotherham currently having the ball, though. They've gone wide to Cal Cal. And Cal Cal, whatever your name is, he's played it long. And Kelly's in behind. Uh, Kelly is in behind. He squared it. But Brown's got it away. But only as far as White. It's gone to KO. And KO has put it over the bar. In fact, it's a deflection off Brown. It's a corner ball. And Closo with the ball coming forward into White to Rathbone. He plays it forward towards Kelly. De Silva heads it. What's he done there? Oh, oh, oh. Said, oh, no, it's all Rotherham. It is all Rotherham. Bramall with it. Bramall with the ball. He's crossed it in eventually from the corner. We've headed it out. KO'd. 
into Bramall. And Bramall signed. No! No! I should have changed the team. I should have changed the team before this game. I should have gone all fresh legs. And Wiles has played it long. And Kelly, Kelly's in it. Kelly's in and Stevens does collect the ball off his little toe. And now Stevens get the ball forward, lad. He does. He goes long. Banks is unable to win it there, but Brannigan collects it. He goes out wide. Ebervine. Ebervine with it. He's tried to cross it in. And eventually it finds his way to Banks. And we do have the ball in the back of the net. But if that is not ruled offside, I'm going to be amazed. And yep, that is being ruled offside. Oh, how offside was the lad? Yeah, he was in front of the goalkeeper. So, yeah, just a little bit offside. I, I got that second game all wrong. I got that second game all wrong. I should really have blooming put fresh players on the pitch to start with. But... We've made it to the playoff semi-finals. It's a big, big improvement on last season.